Uh, this is an appeal hearing, and I will take a motion to open the hearing. And that we open the hearing. Second. All those in favor, I'm going to take it by roll. Joyce? Aye. Fred? Aye. Julie? Aye. The hearing is now open. Uh, this meeting is for an appeal of the town's seizure of the Denise Don Donahue's dog, Miles. The purpose of the hearing is to, number one, confirm if a violation of the June 28th, 2023 order, in fact, occurred. Number two, determine if the seizure was warranted and valid. And number three, decide on remediation necessary based on the above items, A, with regard to Miles, and B, with regard to Ms. Donahue. The Select Board is conducting this hearing under Section 157 of Chapter 140 of the General Laws of the Commonwealth on an appeal request by Denise Donahue for the return of her dog relative to a notice of seizure issued by the town on August 28, 2024. The board will hear first from the seizing entity, the Waitley Police Department, who may present evidence as to the cause for the seizure and actions taken in regard to the seizure and the notice. We will also hear from any witnesses who may provide evidence to confirm the police department's claims of the violations. The board will then request statement and any testimony from Ms. Donahue related to her request as well as any testimony from others to support Ms. Donahue. The board may ask questions of those providing testimony. All those giving testimony are required, hang on, are to provide that testimony and discussion directly with the board and not with each other. The board may also ask for input from relevant town officials. After the hearing, yeah. After the after the evidence presented, the board will deliberate and consider what action it will take under the statute, including making a finding and potential orders. It may deliberate at this meeting and or at subsequent meetings before making its decisions. Under the statute, the board may uphold seizure, overturn the seizure, and have the dog returned to Ms. Donahue, as well as confirm, amend, or revoke the previous order from June 28, 2023. The board may also make an order to address the situation, make an order to address the situation, excuse me, that's a typo, which may include an order that the dog be humanely euthanized. If you wish to testify, you will need to be sworn in first. Before you, when you wish to speak, you will be asked to raise your right hand to take the oath. And Amy, are you going to be swearing folks yes. in? All right. I'm now ready to hear testimony. And the first party to testify would be the police department. May I just may I just ask that everybody who speaks be sure to um, give us your name and address before you speak. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Jim Savini, Waitley okay. Police Chief. I don't reside in town. <laughs> um, I don't have the original seizure notice. I, I just want to make sure we have the right date. The original. June 3rd, is that correct? Mm -hmm. June 3rd, yes. Yeah. All right, so the, the original notice of seizure was issued on uh, June 3rd. That's that's the date that the police department had taken custody of, of uh, Denise's dog. And a notice of seizure was issued on, on that date. Um, so this hearing is discussed the violations that occurred. I have a list of 10. There's actually nine outlined there, but one of them says two calls to the Waitley Police. So Technically it's, technically it's 10, but the same, same date. So if you, if you'd like, I can just go through each one of the incidents, would, give you yeah. a basic narrative for each one. Okay. Please do. So the first one we have is starting on uh, August 31st on the notice of hearing. The, the first one, it's at 8-13-2023. 
want to make a correction that that should be 831 2023. Did everybody see that on the? I got 831. I got 831 on mine. It was a okay. correction made. That's, I guess. That was just for Denise. This one? Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So on 831, um, we received a call from the Northampton Animal Patrol officer stating that uh, they had received multiple emails and calls regarding Denise and her dog walking around Hope Park, making people feel uncomfortable. She was provided, the animal control officer was provided with a copy of the town order, which prohibits the dog from being allowed to leave the property at 100 Haydenville Road. They, I'm not sure what the outcome of their investigation was, but that was the first incident where it was reported to us that the dog was off the property. So the second incident, January 10th. Let's see, that was January 10th, 930 in the morning. Denise Donahue was walking her dog on Haydenville Road in the air of house number 72. Officer Liebenau observed Denise walking her dog just east of the Williamsburg town line in the middle of the roadway. He stopped and spoke with, with Denise and explained that she once again is in violation of the order issued by the town. The order states the dog is prohibited from leaving the property at 100 Haydenville Road. Some time was spent <clears throat> attempting to get the, the dog into the back of the cruiser to transport him home. However, Denise was unable to control the dog. We kept walking west on Haydenville Road, causing a traffic hazard. It was ultimately decided that Donahue did not have the ability to get the dog into the vehicle, and the Franklin County Animal Control Officer arrived on scene. He was able to get the dog in the vehicle without incident, and stated he would be transporting the dog to the regional dog shelter in Montague. And that was the January 10th. That was January 10th, yes. Okay. So prior to the seizure, he was taken to the dog shelter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so the next incident, February, February 26th. Call into the station from a resident on Mountain Road in Hatfield. Uh, saying that he was bit by Denise's dog, the caller was, look, the caller was looking to see if the dog was up to date on its vaccines. A uh, person was placed in contact with the animal control officer and then recommended that they make a report to the Hatfield Police Department. I did get a copy of the report from the Hatfield Police Department. If you want me to give you a summary of that, yeah, if he was. So the officer responded to the area of Chestnut Mountain Christmas Tree Farm. This individual was bitten by a dog a few hours earlier. Um, he noticed Denise sitting on a bench in front of the door. She said she was trying to call someone for a ride back to her home in uh, Whateley. When it was determined she was unable to reach anyone, this person offered to give her a ride back to her house. The dog was placed in the, the in his truck seated between the two people, between the uh, the reporting party and Denise. And the person reached for the center console or something, and the dog bit him, leaving two puncture marks on the back of his hand. He declined medical attention, and he dropped Denise off at her residence. She said she would text him. The dog Gravy's vaccination information, though was unsure of how she was supposed to do this, as uh, he did not believe she had his number. The party then contacted the Whitley Police Department, and then we directed him to the Hatfield Police Department. Uh, Whitley Animal Patrol Officer was contacted, and the dog had not had yet to be registered with the town this year, but that meant the vac vaccination information was out of date. However, it was vaccinated as of 
last year. Uh, and with he was also told by the Franklin County <clears throat> Control Center that um, to seek medical attention because of the rabies concern about the vaccination. So the the previous vaccination was not still active. Not at that point. Okay. No, it had been vaccinated the year prior. He needed a boost. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that was the February twenty sixth incident. Okay. I think that was also a long time ahead. Yes, that was uh, two calls in the same day. Um, so this one was after the initial report that I just read. There was a call into the station uh, from a resident on Strip Road reporting that Denise Donahue and her dog were in their backyard. Uh, the RT stated Donahue was asking for a collar. As a dog's previous collar had gotten lost, the RP was concerned. RP is reporting parties. The, Thank you. Uh, the RP was concerned for the dog's well being as it had a rope tied around its neck and stated her husband asked Donahue to leave and she walked into the woods towards her residence. Area was checked, but we were unable to locate Denise at that time. Two incidents on February 26th. The next incident, March 22nd. Caller reports that Denise Donahue was on the porch of her house looking into the windows of the above location. This was on Laura Mountain Road. She states that she has a dog leash in her hand, but no dog is visible in the area. The residents were not at home at the time. It stated that it did not have a trespass order at that time in place. And again, we were unable to locate Denise at that time. I'm sorry, could you could you back up again? Sure. She was trespassing on the property looking in the windows, but the residents were not at home. The residents were not at home. How did they know she on was on camp? They saw it on the camera. On camp. On okay. camp. Yes. Probably said that. Thank you. Oh, okay. And the dog was not visible on the camera. Correct. It wasn't there. So yeah, it was just Denise with the okay. with the leash. Yeah. You'll you'll be able to testify Thank later. You. Thanks. Thank you. April 29th. See, this was just trying to find the location. This is a this <clears throat> this incident also occurred in Wait and uh, Hatfield on Mountain Road, involving a Waitley resident that reported it to our police department and was again advised to contact the Hatfield Police Department. But uh, the party stated that she came in contact with uh, Denise and her dog in Mount Road in Hatfield. Uh, the dog, Denise was walking the dog with no leash, stated that they were blocking the road. And as she got closer, the dog jumped onto her car, proceeded to scratch it in multiple areas. Uh, she attempted to get the dog off of her car. However, Denise, uh, she attempted to get out of her car to get the dog off of her car. And Denise held the door closed. So she was not able to exit the vehicle. She eventually was able to get out of the, the car and remove the dog from the vehicle. This party sustained minor injuries, bruises to her arm, bruises and scratches to her arm. Again, it was filed with the Hatfield Police Department, or she was recommended that she filed with the Hatfield Police Department. May I question uh, bruises and scratches sustained from the dog or from the car door? From the dog. Okay. Next incident is on May 3rd, 2024. One of the callers states that she was driving and came across a loose dog on Haydenville Road. The dog was brought back to the part of the reporting party's sister's house in Haydenville when they contacted us. And it turned out it was Denise's dog, Miles. So the, uh, the party brought the dog back to Denise's house. I actually met her there with 
so she can drop the dog at the off at the house. Oh, they to observe the dog on that day. Denise wasn't around at the point. I was unable to make contact with her. Okay. Just the dog. <clears throat> May 9th, 2024, on Weber Road, walk into the station, party reporting that Denise and her dog are in her backyard. Officers checked the area and were able to unable to locate her at that time. <clears throat> Nothing else for that call. The next call was on May 18th. Residents by stopped by the station to report that Denise has been seen walking her dog multiple times recently. And recently the dog it stated they're walking around multiple times recently with the dog, as have their neighbors. They've seen the dog. Despite the order for the dog not to leave the house, they stated that she knows Denise is most likely harmless. But she's a bit of a nuisance uh, for people of West Waverly, becoming more and more or becoming more and more frustrated. Uh, she also stated that Denise was on her property despite a no trespass order being in effect. Uh, she gave her a warning at that time and did not call the police. Uh, she did note that Denise has not returned since. The last incident we have was on May 29th. This was on Haydenville Road. Um, this report's a little bit a little bit lengthy as well, but it's a similar similar situation where Denise was walking the dog in the middle of Haydenville Road, stopping traffic. Caller was concerned for her and the dog's safety as there was a good amount of traffic at the time. At that time, Denise advised that the dog had gotten free while she was checking her mail and that her daughter had opened the door to let the dog out and that the FedEx truck was reversing and caused the dog to run away. She insisted she was not walking the dog. Uh, the dog the subject of the town order, deeming it dangerous, does not permit it to leave the property. Uh, during this incident, the dog did display aggressive behavior and growled at the officer and other officers, as well as growling and snapping at Denise. Multiple attempt after multiple attempts to get the dog into the cruiser. There was no success. Denise would, this is the language that was in the, in the narrative, Denise would feign an attempt to load the dog and then proceed to walk further west towards Williamsburg. Uh, at one point, the officer was repositioning the cruiser to load the dog and Denise was no longer holding the leash and she had just, she was just walking behind the loose dog down the middle of the road. At that time, again, Animal Patrol, Franklin County Animal Patrol was notified and responded to the scene. The dog was taken into custody at that time, at that point, and that was the final seizure of the dog. That's what I have for for those incidents. <clears throat> Thank you, Chief. Is there any further information that you need to share? With I don't. Us? I don't think so. Okay. Just everybody has a, a copy of the yep. signed re, and a return of service from our our officer that served it. The notices to Vinny's and Anne. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your testimony. Uh, now we will receive any testimony from other witnesses who are present that would confirm the violations of the uh, 2023 order not to leave the property. Did you stand up, like, raise your right hand? Will you simply swear that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you out? Yeah. 
Just please state your name and address. Catherine Graff, 74 Willow Road, West Waitley. Um, I just was out in front of my house and gardening, and I saw Denise walking down the road with the dog. I hadn't, at this, this was probably in May, I hadn't seen the dog prior to that. I was just assuming it was a family property. So I was pretty taken aback when I saw it, and I actually asked Denise, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to have the dog? on your property and she basically told me none of your business and she kept on walking farther away from me because she's not my house. She did state that there was someone from New York in her driveway that she had to leave the yard to keep the dog from getting hit by the car that was in her yard. That was at least a mile from her, from between our house and her house. And which road was this? Weber. Weber. Mm -hmm. So that's just, I was, you know, I saw the top. Oh, and this was when again? May? I was in May. Okay. 2024. Yes. Thank you. Anybody else? What's in it? Yeah, you're right here, sir. He just saw me swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the case you're about to give. Yes, I did. Okay. Please state your name and address. Paul and Ted, 50 Weber Road, Wayland, Massachusetts. Um, the comment I have is that uh, the owner of the dog and the dog have been on our properties, uh, on our property, uh, on a number of occasions. And what we notice is that the owner is incapable of controlling the animal. The animal pretty much leads the owner where it wants to go. So that's concerning. And um, I'll leave it at that, but uh, you know, it's an unfortunate situation. Um, and don't enjoy seeing this. Um, you got an animal, only wants the animal, uh, but uh, I don't know how the Lord's going to rule on this, but it would seem to me that there would need to be some assurance that the owner is capable of controlling the animal um, at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank but, you. Uh, Sorry. <clears throat> but yeah. when did you see, you said the dog was on your property on multiple occasions, when was it? Yes, um, I, roughly. I would say a year, a year ago, I would say uh, last spring, um, maybe last fall. Um, and by this year, 2023, 2023. I would say 2023. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And I interrupted you. Please continue. Please. I interrupted you for a date clarification. So um, please continue yeah. if there was more. So I would have to say it was 2023 uh, mm -hmm. that these incidents occurred. Um, I did confront her about being on the property and I asked her not to be on the property again with the animal and she was compliant Okay. after that. So. Thank you, Rick. And please, do you solemnly swear that the testimony you were about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, the whole truth? Yes. Uh, Chris Atlantic, 21 Laurel Mountain Road, uh, West Waitley. <clears throat> so, my wife is the one who got bit originally, and which started off a little dangerous dog gearing. Um, there have been multiple instances where, you know, the dog has bit or assaulted other people. Um, she has ignored uh, no trespass orders on our property. Can you can I back you up for just a moment? Sure. When you state that there have been multiple instances where the dog has bitten or assaulted other people, do you have a record of that? You're referring back. I'm to, referring to. You're referring back to what the yeah. was describing. Right. Thank you. Right. Not that I have personally. Okay, that's that's what I'm clarifying. Recounting Thank what the chief has stated that you know she she clearly pays no attention to no trespass orders. We've had a no trespass order, and she came up to our property repeatedly with that order. Mm -hmm. It's clear that she has no control over the animal, as again is evidenced by all of the reports by the chief 
And as is evidenced by all of the instances that I have witnessed here with the dog. Um, multiple other friends and neighbors have reported seeing her post the order to stay on her property. I personally have not, mm -hmm. but I have heard from friends and neighbors who have seen her on or around their properties, mm -hmm. off her property, certainly. Are any of those friends and neighbors here tonight? Sadly, no. They okay. were unable to attend. So right. they're here Thank speaking you. on their behalf. Um, I think some of them were going to attend via Zoom. Is there anybody on Zoom who would like to? Well, I want one question. When the violations in a trespass order, same question before, can you give us time you know, when these are? There are police reports. I don't have times and dates mm. off the top of my head. This was. Uh, uh, the, some of the ones that Jim mentioned okay. earlier. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Because I think there were like two, three of these that included. Trespass. Yeah, I just it wasn't specified who made these reports. Again, again right. earlier, earlier with the original dangerous dog hearing, I brought a folder full of statements from neighbors. I okay. brought a folder full yeah. of no trespass orders that I acquired from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, you know there are okay. multiple people all around right. the area who have had issues with this mm -hmm. and occurring issues with this and. While I understand this is an appeal to get the dog back, my statement would be, why would we even consider that? Because clearly, it's not, is, your, not your turn yet. This is not Thank something you. where any any ruling is going to be a problem. So it has to be removed from custody. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Olanik. Is there anybody else who would like to offer, offer testimony to confirm the violations? I'm happy to, if you just from my agency's perspective, this is Kyle Dragon with Animal Control. Oh, if there are folks online, can you raise your hand? I'm sorry, I actually can't see multiple participants. Oh, there we go. Uh, I was trying to get my hand to raise, but it wouldn't raise for me. So I'm also you... trying to raise a hand and I can't raise a hand, so I'm just speaking. Okay, um... okay, uh, Bobcat person, what is your name? Hi, I'm the Bobcat. I'm um, Helen S. I, Wait, sorry. I'm not going to ask you to speak yet. I just want to take your name so that I can call on you in order. Okay. I'm Helena Farrell. Helena Farrell. Okay. And then we had Kyle. And there was somebody in the audience who had raised their hand. Yes. We'll go with you first because I saw you first. And then we'll go with the folks online. Please raise your hand. You solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me that. I go. I'm okay. sorry, just state your name. Oh, I'm sorry. Karen Kirkendall, 311 Katie Bilbo. <laughs> um, I travel Katie Bilbo three or four times a week on the way to my son's house. I have seen her numerous times on Katie Bilbo, dogs off leash. And the one time in particular that was very concerning was I was in the traffic on May 29th when traffic is stopped both ways. And I saw the dog running around, going up to cars, jumping on cars. I saw someone try to stop and help. Um, my whole thought is any cyclist, anyone on a motorcycle, anyone walking, if someone has a child pushing them, a baby, they wouldn't stand a chance. I don't really feel like they could protect themselves from it. And that's my concern, like someone on a um, bicycle. Our grandson bicycles over at our house from Florence. And if the dog was like that ran out, I don't I don't think you could, you know, stay under the bike and just play that at home. That's my concern is more of a public concern. Yep. Thank you, Ms. Kirkendall. Uh so let's see Kyle. Yes, good evening. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, Kyle you, Dragon, lead yeah. animal control officer for the Frank County Sheriff's Office. I believe hold you on, need to be Kyle, sworn in. So hold on. Raise yep. your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear that you will the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help me God. I do. Thank you. All right, uh, Kyle Dragon, lead ACO at the Frank County Sheriff's Office. Uh, just want to give you the input from our agency. Um, we have handled miles on three separate occasions 
One instance was prior to the orders being put in place in 22. During that incident, we facilitated Miles getting a one-year rabies shot as well as licensing in the town of Waitley. Okay. In, in January of this year, on the 10th, we were requested by the Waitley Police Department to respond to Haydenville Road to assist with securing Miles, who was in the company of Miss Donahue at that point in time. Miles was taken into my agency's custody temporarily uh, while the police department coordinated with your ACO at the time, as well as your town administrator at the time. It was determined at that point in time that Miles would be returned to Miss Donahue on the 10th and that the town would look into um, if there was going to be a violation hearing to that. At, on the 10th, Miles was not current on his rabies vaccination or his town license. Uh, his, his rabies vaccination has expired as of July of 23. Uh, they were advised that they needed to get the rabies boosted at that point in time, as well as get the dog license in the town of Waitley. On May 29th, we were again requested uh, to respond to Haydenville Road. By the time I arrived on scene, we were actually into Haydenville, so we were on Mountain by that point. Uh, Miles was taken into custody. Uh, there was an incident where Miles acted as if he was going to bite the officer on scene, myself, as well as Miss Donahue, as she was attempting to load him into my marked patrol unit. Uh, we were able to load him without incident. It was noted following this that Miles, at this point in time, has still not been vaccinated against rabies or licensed in the Commonwealth as required by law. Uh, as of this date, Miles has remained in the custody of the regional dog shelter in Turner's Falls, where I believe he has currently been, he just hit 106 days in custody today. So just to- Kyle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to you later when we are looking at a status and evaluation of Miles for further discussion during the hearing. Um, do you have anything else to say about violations? Not at this time. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Helen Farrell. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Can you okay. turn on your camera, please, so that we can see you? Oh, just, let me try and do that. Yeah, I, I think that's the, the respectful thing to do. Uh, hold on a sec. There. Can you see me? No. 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 You're oh. still a bobcat. You're still a bobcat. Yep. Uh... Can you hit desk? Um. Okay. Oh, there, there she is. is. Okay. All right. Could you please raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Thank you. Just state your name and address, please. Helena Farrell, 26 Grass Hill Road, West Thank Wheatley. You. Um, <clears throat> so I have seen Denise in instances similar to um, what the police officer described at the beginning of the meeting in the middle of Haydenville Road with Miles. Um, I drive that road every day and back um, to go to work. Um, so I saw her a number of times in the road. Um, this year since um, the order was put in place and um, she's been up Laurel Mountain Road on her own with the um, leash um, doing the thing where she explores like the woods and is kind of trespassing on private property. Um, and that's been the extent of my experiences with her this year. Um, but they're reminiscent of a number of um, encounters that I and other neighbors in this neighborhood have had where um, she trespasses on our property, coming um, up to the house, sometimes coming into the house. In 2022, we had an experience with Denise where she came in the back door of our house with Miles leading the way. Um, and began talking to Karsten, my husband, about um, the dog and just like long rambling um, conversation, asking for a ride home. It's it's the same playbook every time. And um, 
troubling to hear that she um, encountered somebody who was unfamiliar with her, who then gave her a ride home and was bitten. And I think that kind of points to the problem of um, the dog being returned to her. Not only is the dog out of control, she's out of control. She's not somebody who has displayed accountability for the dog. She's not displayed accountability for trespassing. She seems um, not capable of understanding boundaries, um, both like soft boundaries, like recognizing that people are uncomfortable and stopping to make them uncomfortable, but also like legal boundaries, like don't trespass. So I think uh, that- uh, Ms. Farrell, um, Ms. Farrell, this yes. is all- this, I appreciate what you're saying. Uh, this, this here, and and I hear you. However, this hearing is to discuss whether there was a violation of the 2023 order. So, um, I think you've given us testimony that provides your viewpoint on that. Um, okay. Let's not Thank back you. up into 2022. Okay. Thanks Thank for that clarification. Okay. Is there anybody else in the room? Not yet. We're still we're still taking the other part of testimony. Uh, anybody else in the room or on Zoom? If you cannot raise your hand on Zoom, just pipe in, please. Okay. Anybody else in the room who would like to provide testimony about violation of the order of twenty twenty two? Going once. Okay. So we have received. Testimony from the police department and report. We've received testimony from witnesses. I would now like to recognize Denise Donahue. Any testimony from you related to the violation claim and seizure of miles? Yeah. My yeah. Okay. okay. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, the whole truth? I do. Appreciate it. Sit your name address. And then Donahue, one hundred eighty years old. Um, accountability. For this town, I have been a resident for 24 years with no problems. Love my neighbors. All these people that are complaining live right next to me. We live in the woods. If you're so afraid of my beautiful dog, Miles, who's big, who was hit by a truck, who had sound sensitivity to trucks that people get delivery all the time from my neighbor, and he goes chasing, and they're all worried because he's on my street. Causing a chat trap to him. Please just don't stop and open your door if you're so afraid of my friendly dog miles. That was also his paws were crushed by an officer in the Waitley Police Department by accident when he took him when he first got him. This piece of plastic, he slammed the door and his finger got his uh, paw got hurt. So he doesn't like to be taken by the cops. I'm sorry he was loose. I was not walking him when he was retrieved. I was getting the mail. I was not making that up. Um, if you're so afraid of my dog on 21 Laura Mountain Road, your wife in her winter jacket when I was on. Please address the select board. Yes, yeah, also, yeah, no, you and no, 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 you no, are no, the select board. But anyway, thank you for so you were getting her mail. I was walking on not, I was walking on Laurel Mountain Road. They live on a private way. She's on the very edge of that private way on a dirt road. It was very windy that day. Why? Why? If I get windy, okay, the wind, it was, it was chaotic. No big deal. No harm done. No be around. No kids playing. Nothing. Not this is after the, the 2023 order. This is my order. shirt this is, this is after the 2023 order to keep your dog on the property? Still to start. Remember, he said he was the reason for it. Okay, that was prior to our 2023 order. So this She's hearing. She's the woman that was bit. I know. Why this you get out of your car and grab the leash and hand it? Denise. Her? Hang on just a second. This, well, I'm this just here, defending my dog. I hear you. Thank and, you so much. And this hearing is about whether there was a violation of the 2023 order for you to keep Miles on the property. Right. Do you right. have any testimony to offer? The solutions that were not no. given? Testimony. Testimony. No, you guys can keep going at it. But realize he's a family dog. He's a big dog. He doesn't listen very well. It, like he's human on that, okay? He got hit by a truck. He got crushed by a door. Work with me. It was during a pandemic. I'm still trying to get back on my feet. He's not abusive. The person that grabbed him that he bit that didn't have a rabies shot is a very nice guy. He helped me home. I was walking. All of this is in the woods. Y'all choose to live in the woods. There's bears. I'm sorry. Yeah, you address, 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 I, I apologize. Thank you. Seriously, we live in the woods. You have no idea what a traffic jam is. 
Can I can I interrupt you for just one moment? Very well interrupted. All right. Do you have anybody here to support your testimony? Why? I'm here this morning. No, I hear you. It's just that there were other folks speaking that you had violated. Well, this way. woman here with the Bobcat lady that doesn't accountability. 24 years, it's accountability. I don't need to be slandered. I don't appreciate discriminatory behavior on my behalf. Okay. Um, also, uh, please understand the circumstances as to why he doesn't like he touched the rope that that guy grabbed in the car. Um, that also, if it didn't get medical treatment, he yanked on him. It was plastic. His neck had um, it's from pulling. It, it was all understandably so. Yeah. So I thank you so much for listening. Thank, thank, thank you. Appreciate your time. Yes. I, I just want to ask a question. Go We've on. heard lots of testimony. Um, of you and your dog being off the property. And yes. the order was to stay on the property. Right. And I'm not hearing you say that any of those people were lying. Why would and, I? Yeah. So you admit that your dog was Most, off the property. Okay. It's not a while where she Many was. of those, uh, you know, yeah. the 10 occasions that we've got we at have, least some. Right. Um, we have several FedEx trucks. Yeah. No, 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 no. He takes his. Yes. Was he off the property? He was. That's what the order is about. My house. Right. Yes. And guess okay. what? So the guy offered him a bone. He started yeah. to chase him. So Hayden Hill Road, Weber Road, um, Strip Road, uh, All Mountain Road. My house, right up the hill. Um, the I understand these are near. But that's the not your property. That's though. not your right. property. Right. I, I open So you admit that, that the yeah. dog was on your property. Keep them there. Well, right. We, we also, I realized that was a lot bigger when I first got him. So you're not. You're not. You're not. Like saying all oh, these reports are untrue. Oh, the lot of them reports, are biased. Correct. They're very they're, biased. Well, they're true or false. Um, or in, in, in only in the sense of was the dog off your property or not? My dog has been off the property okay. back, and I was not That's, deliberately walking him, acting crazy. This woman is I no, 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 no. Off the property or not is the that. is the main issue, and I just, I just wanted to yeah. hear from you directly. Yeah. You do not. We don't have a storm door. Yeah. Sorry, forgive well, me. You, you, yeah, you, you have let the dog no, off the property. He has run off the property. Well, he it, didn't have time or money. So you don't before. have you don't have the control over the dog. Oh, I do. I do. That day, there is a guy reversing out. And by the way, not that I would ever rat someone out. There is a German Shepherd in our property several times. So when the person says I was holding a leash, walking around stupid, whoever that was. Um, there is a loose dog without a collar several times that I refuse to talk about that lives a mile up the road. Okay, that's not what this hearing is. But it could be. Thank you. By the way, you're welcome. Yeah, it is. Okay. Was one, one report of right. I, yeah. or two reports. You've seen the dog in Hatfield. Yep. And, not lately. And, I know. I agree. And, I admit that. And yep. Northampton. And he did not start any trouble. He was actually attacked well, by the yes, dog but, yesterday. How did he get there? Oh, we drove left out of the driveway because you know he doesn't like being cooped up a you, lot. You, he, you had him in the car. And yes, we willingly did that. I will. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I've been your resident for 24 years. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was over a year ago. Thank you, pardon. It was so long ago. This dog is mm. old now and well behaved. Really miss him. Ah. Uh, is there any more testimony yeah. regarding the violation or alleged violation of the 2023 order for Denise to keep the dog on the property? Okay, so we're going to end that particular portion of the hearing. We're now going to review some information that might have uh, an impact on how we move forward. <laughs> Actually, Denise, I'm going to back up for a minute. Uh, yeah, no, th this this does have to do with how we would move forward. There are a variety of different options to deal with a dog that has been deemed either a nuisance or a dangerous dog. We, when we made our order, we kept within the very smallest uh, restrictions that you keep him on the property. Other restrictions are that you take out a $100,000 insurance policy in case he ever hurts anybody, mm -hmm. that you build a fence around the yard and always tether the dog within the yard, mm -hmm. that you always walk him with a muzzle. 
We did not choose to go though that route because we did hear from you, and I'll, I'll ask you now that that was not within your financial capabilities to build a fence. I lost him. my job. I have yeah personal I reasons, reasons. Yeah. right now. Yeah, no, I understand. That. I doubt it, but I just wanted Thank you to say that there were a variety of different. Um, Restrictions that we could put on you that were not made, right? That were not <laughs> right, made. right. <laughs> but we did make a very simple restriction that you restrain, re restrict him to the property. Correct. And it does seem that that has been viable. So, so <laughs> now we're going to move on to um, information about the status of miles and any evaluations. Um, we did. Should we read the letter from the resident first? The one that we received today or not? You might want to take evaluation before you take it. Yeah, evaluation, yeah. yes, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, yeah that would be public copy. Yeah. Um, Denise, when your dog was seized, and we've heard the testimony before, and some of us have had personal interaction the feeling is that it's not the dog's fault that he has become fearful and aggressive. He's not aggressive. And I know what you're saying. He was hit by a truck. I hear so time has passed and he's gotten older. He's not aggressive. We but he does tend to fear. have taken steps to find out if it's possible since it does seem to be clear that you are unable to maintain control of the dog. No. Yes. No. I am unable to maintain control of putting a dog in a cruiser when he got his paw crushed. I can totally control We've my heard dog. A lot of testimony tonight about how you have had him off leash in a variety of different places and have been unable. Like everybody else with their dog free on Laurel Mount Road? have been unable to control him to either get him into a police cruiser or to get him to come they with you. They talk. Can you please understand that? Have some compassion. Given what, this. You want me to do that to you? You'd be crying. Given yes. this. Mm -hmm. He took my dog. He was smiling at your face. It really makes me upset. I'm sorry. I'm smiling because this is such a difficult situation. It doesn't make any sense to smile, to be in tears. Too late. Just a point of order. At this point, it's not a back and forth discussion. I mean, allow the back the saying, board, yeah, but allow the like board to speak. And then when the board uh, right. approaches okay. you, then you can respond. No, you smile really, really makes it hard. Thanks. Trying my best not to cry. Please, please. Please. We asked Thank a you. dog trainer who is trained in dealing with dogs that are difficult or aggressive or even have been deemed dangerous to come to the animal shelter and evaluate Miles to find out if he could possibly be retrained and rehomed. Mm -hmm. This is the evaluation that we got. Thank you for allowing me to come take a look at Miles today. I spoke to Julie and she wanted an email with the details of the evaluation. Please keep in mind that because we aren't able to handle or touch him in any way because he does not have his rabies vax, there is limited information to be gathered. There are numerous factors that make Miles risky to train, handle, or adopt. Number one, he has an established bite record. Number two, his age and size. Given what we know about the owners and the dog, Miles appears to have had years to practice these behaviors and therefore eliminating them would be much more difficult. He's also fairly large, making him more difficult to control and more dangerous if he bites. Number three, his behavior at the shelter also raises red flags. Considering the length of time he's been there, the fact that he has not yet warmed up to the staff in any way is a fairly clear sign that these behaviors are more deeply ingrained and not just surface level fear of strangers. This is because we care about 
you and your dog. We care. This community does not want to see anything bad happen to this dog. And we have gone out of our way to make sure. However, in addition, given his history, I cannot in good conscience recommend that Miles be returned to his previous owner. Without a very knowledgeable and responsible owner, he is, in fact, a dangerous dog and is likely to bite again. Any other person considering adopting this dog would need advanced training knowledge and handling skills well beyond that of the average person who comes to a shelter looking to adopt a dog. Because of this, I believe that the chances of finding a suitable home for Miles is low. I will also let you know that I called personally the Dakin Animal Shelter and spoke with a staff member there about the situation. And that what she said to me is, number one, the most, the clearest indication of a dog's future behavior is his past behavior. And if he has bitten, he is likely to bite again. That it is not simply a training issue. And that no matter what, the town was looking for a way to rehome him so that he would be able to live out a whole life, even if it wasn't with you. We were looking for a way to do that, and we have been advised by both our council and by the folks at Dakin that no matter what we sign, we would be liable if Miles ever hurt anybody. I will also let you know that as if his I owner, know. wait, as his owner, you have put yourself in a very bad position. I'm because position. if Miles ever hurt anybody while he was in your charge, you are liable. I'm open to that. He's you not going will be sued. Anybody. Good for me. Now you can have your wages garnished. You can Good have your me. bank account garnished. Cool. You can have your car seized. <laughs> I don't have a car. It doesn't bother me one bit. And I'm not average. And I can will take my chances. And I will get a second opinion. The rest of the community is listen. not willing to take their chances. Oh, wow. I would now like to hear from the animal control officer regarding miles during sheltering. Kyle, are you there? I am. Um, so based off of Miles' behavior over the last hundred Can you speak up just a little bit? Oh, can you hear me better now? Yes, yes, thank you. There we go. Perfect. Let me move the microphone. Um, so as I mentioned before, he's been in our custody for 106 days. We have not seen any behavioral changes based off of what he was presenting when you had your the individual come up to do his, his assessment at the shelter. Um, he has had no hands-on human interaction. Um, by that, I mean no one's been in the same space with him uh to alleviate any chances of him being able to hurt anyone um while he's been at the shelter since his intake so he's been in a kennel for the last 106 days um basically and that's where we stand uh again we haven't seen any real behavior changes on a positive note uh since he came in and he's still at baseline to when your evaluator was there so you would concur with what the evaluator said? Unfortunately, yes. Based okay. off of his presentation at the kennel, I could not in good conscience put that dog out in the public. And I believe the director at the animal shelter would wholeheartedly agree with that statement as well. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Walton. Is there any public comment or feedback regarding this issue? We do have one letter from a citizen. Anybody else? Is the letter in the packet? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Deborah Carney, since I'm unable to attend tonight's hearing, please share the email below with the select board and the hearing attendees. Thank you. As a resident of Laurel Mountain Road in West Waitley, I am well aware of my neighbor's distress and concern with regard to Denise Donahue's trespassing on their property, often with her dog, Miles. Because our home is at the end of a half-mile driveway, Denise has never come onto our property. 
I want to be very clear that I respect and support my neighbors' rights and needs to keep Denise from making unwanted sojourns onto their properties. It is currently my understanding that Miles is in the Franklin County Regional Shelter, and I ask that should the select board decide not to return him to Denise, to Denise, that all efforts be made for Miles to be rehabilitated if necessary and rehomed. Dogs depend upon their owners and caregivers. Miles deserves a chance at a better life. Why does that have anything to do with this? If there's not have anything to do with the, the hearing, what is that? It's, it's public comment and it's allowed. <laughs> Does anybody else have anything to say? If not, I will move that we close this hearing, at which point there will be no comment from the audience and we will deliberate. And we will close the hearing. I'll second that. All those in favor, Fred. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Julie. Aye. The public hearing is now closed and we will deliberate. The first order is whether we find or do not find that Denise Donahue was, has violated the orders of the town of Waitley issued on June 28th, 2023, and that the dog was properly seized from Ms. Donahue in the interest of public safety. I don't think there's any doubt that the order is I think violated. there's no one countering everyone's testimony. There's yeah. ample testimony from our police. I mean, <laughs> not not every one of these necessarily had a police officer who saw the situation, but enough of them did. Uh, there's the Hatfield police. Um, and there's, on several of these, there's multiple people who reported on it. And Denise has not ever said that, no, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, that being off the property didn't happen. Nice. Well, you know, with, there, I mean, there's, there's lots of, discussion about reasons why, but the fact that the dog was not kept on the property, no one is contesting that. And we so, have Denise's own testimony that she has to Northampton by going out of the driveway and taking it left. Yeah. With the dog uh, in the car. So um, it, it- I would that, entertain I, a motion then. I, then I move that the select board find that Denise Donnelly has violated the orders of the town of Whateley issued on June 28th, 2023, and that the dog was properly seized from Ms. Donahue in the interest of public safety. Second. How do we vote? Joyce? Aye. Fred? Aye. Julie? Aye. Uh, it's possible that we can set a potential new order uh, or confirm or modify the pre previous order. Uh, we can restrict Denise from owning and licensing a dog within the Commonwealth for five years from the original order of June 28th, 2023. What is the discussion? I think given what we've heard, that's a reasonable restriction. Unfortunately, yeah, I think I agree. And unfortunately, I agree. Uh, I would accept a motion. I move that the select board reaffirm the June 28, 2023 order that Denise Donahue be prohibited from licensing any dog within the Commonwealth for five years from that original order date. Um, second. How do we vote? Fred? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Julie? Aye. Now we move ahead with deciding what to do with your beautiful and beloved dog. And I may smile, but trust me, I'm crying. Don't. I'm crying. Sorry. You don't need to. Thank you. You don't need to trust me, but I'm crying on the inside because I'm a ghost. That is this is <laughs> not something that makes any of us happy. Something been trying to avoid. It, we it. have been trying to avoid. Um, we have gone to great lengths to see if we could get Miles retrained, to see if we could get him rehomed. Um, it's not going to be possible without leaving the town liable for any future behavior of his, and we simply can't do that. We cannot give the dog back to you because we need to protect the rest of the citizens of the community. 
<laughs> and because at this point she's barred from owning a dog. And at this point you're barred from owning a dog. So uh, I would accept a motion. I will make the motion. Look me in the eye of the dog. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. I move that the select having the authority and responsibility of the care of the dog miles and based on the evidence provided. Order that the dog miles be humanely euthanized. Second. How do we vote? Jones. Aye. Fred. Aye. Aye. I don't believe there are any items not anticipated. I will accept the motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. Second. Brett? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Julie? Aye. Thank you very much. <laughs>